Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. I got a rant for you today. I didn't think I'd be talking about this individual much more, being that she decided to call the season quits with her wrist surgery. But yeah, Angel Reese decided to make herself matter again uh, or put herself in the news. This time, I don't know what the hell to think, honestly. But before we jump in, thank you all for your continued support of, continued support of our channel as we creep closer to 5,000 subscribers. Help us get there. Please like, share, comment, and share this video. This has nothing to do with basketball. Nothing. It has nothing to do with dress code. It has nothing to do with anything but the fact that Angel Reese really is in dire need of some public relations coaching. She needs a new PR team badly because she doesn't know what to say and what not to say. Remember in her podcast last week, I know she dropped one a day. I've not heard seen a clip anywhere. Don't care to. I, I don't give a shit. But in her podcast last week, she went on and 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 on about, you know, uh, Caitlin Clark, blah, blah, blah. Caitlin Clark's fans calls them racist. They're all racist. It's ridiculous. Might there be some? Sure. There are also some racist Angel Reese fans. There's racist people everywhere. So she does that. And then after she gets, she falls on her wrist at the game against, in the game against the Sparks. Goes into, you know, then is questioned if she has a real injury or not. Does she have an injury? Yeah, she has an injury. Does she have, did she have a hurt or did she have, an, was she hurt or was she injured? She was hurt. And I'll stand on that because she confirmed that she was hurt. She confirmed that she was hurt. Let me repeat again. She confirmed she was hurt. She was not injured. She could have played. She could have played. She chose the route of surgery, even though she could have continued to play. In that same video, she talks about, I'm not going to get arthritis at 22 and all that stuff. And then she starts, you know, showing her stomach. And starts talking about pregnancy and all that other nonsense. You know, you look at it and and you say to yourself, what are you thinking about when you release something like that? What are you thinking about? Because everything that was released involving this injury was released by her. Did the Chicago Sky even, (laughs) did the Chicago Sky even um, announce that she was having surgery. I never saw a Chicago Sky announcement. She announced that she was out for the year before the Sky did. Because she made that decision, not the Sky. She made that call, not the team. So on that video where she says all that, she says, you know, if I could, I'm, there's a hairline, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We, we've already gone through all that shit. Now, she could have played. She chose not to. No problem. Your call, your life, your career. People will look at you how they look at you. You call yourself a dog. You're not really. A dog plays. A dog would have waited two weeks to have surgery after the season's over if they don't make the playoffs. Or three weeks if they do and they get wiped out in two by the Liberty or three or whatever it is for the first round. Now, she has insulted her biggest fans. She has disrespected her biggest fans. You cannot make make this shit up. She insulted, disrespected, degraded, and shaded her biggest fans. Who are her biggest fans? Black men. Black men are Angel Reese's biggest fans. Yes, there are some black women that are her, are her fans too. But black men are the vast majority of her fans. Black men are the main people that I have on our timeline calling me names about Angel Reese, calling me a racist, calling me a KKK, telling me I should put my my hood back on, calling me, calling me, I mean, yeah, I'm, you're fat, you're bald, blah, 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 whatever. 
that is primarily coming from black men. Not women, not black women, not white women, not white, not what obviously not white men and not, not white women, but pri primarily black men. Why is that? <clears throat> well, I have my belief on why that is. But let's show you how Angel Reese decided or thought that this was a good idea on social media, what she claims she's never on. I'm not on social media, she says. So this is what she reposted on her TikTok. And I'm going to show you the whole thing because I'm going to show you that that's her TikTok page as well. Let's go. See, that is Angel Reese's TikTok page. That's her TikTok. These are her, her reposts. So the, on the right, on the left is her post. On the right is her repost. So let's move it on down. Scrolling down. Stop right there. This one right here. I've never seen. That one right there. That comes right off of her page. I click on it. That's playing. This is another young black woman who, as you see on the post, Angel reposted. And this is what she has to say about black men. An unhappy black woman with a fine ass white man. I've never seen it. And then and, and we could talk about it more. Because the ones that be happy as hell with their white man, they be getting everything that they want. And that's gonna be me next. Happily in love, living a life, they man spoiling them. They just over there. Where the white man at? I'm I'm at the point where I'm sick of you niggas. Like I, I am. I am. I am. Y'all give nothing no more. So I'm dating out of my comfort zone now and I'm going to get me a Caucasian man. So where y'all at? Angel Reese reposted that. You cannot make this shit up. I have seen video after video from black men on YouTube calling her ass out. Caitlin Clark has just earned a whole new segment of fans. Because Angel Reese is too stupid to not post that. I mean, she's too, she's so stupid, she posted that. What was she thinking? The black men, let's keep it real. On my timeline, on all the comments, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, or even on TikTok. We have a small TikTok presence. I mean, I post everything there, and you know, some of the stuff gets views, some of it doesn't. Um, we're, we're growing it. I'm really, I really don't focus too much on TikTok because it is what it is. But I mean, we've had some videos that got 50,000 views on TikTok, believe it or not. Now, she posts this on TikTok, and you got black men that are hurting right now from this shit. Because let's be real, it's fucking insulting. It's insulting. You have a, a video of a, of a black woman basically saying black men X, Y, Z ain't X, Y, Z. You had a bad experience with a black man and now you don't want to date a black man. That's your call. That's your choice. Angel Reese, you might want to keep that shit to yourself. Being that black men champion for you more than anybody. Men watch basketball more than women, even in the WNBA. In fact, the, the, the disparity of men to women, it's growing because of this newfound rivalry involving Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. It has become a very racially divided thing, but there are many black men who, who I know who think that Caitlin Clark is 10 times the player that Angel Reese is, and they have no problem saying it. But there's a whole lot of black dudes out there that are will swear by Angel Reese. And I know why it is. It's not based on skill. It's because they think she's attractive. It's because they have in their maybe it's a racial component that I cannot understand because I'm not a black man. But I believe it's in large part because they're attracted to her. And in their mind, they have created this vision of potentially getting up with Angel Reese. It will never happen. But they have created this thought process that they will at some point. So they defend and defend and defend. Whereas if that was a white girl playing ball, shooting 35% from the field, they wouldn't beat in, they wouldn't blink an eye at that person. They would say she's garbage. She can't play. Yeah, she rebounds. 
but she sucks on offense. She can't make a layup. I mean, I got guys telling me how good she is. And I'm sitting here like, you know you don't really believe that, right? Like, you really don't believe that. Hoopers know. That's why when Shaq has gone on these freaking things about how about her and and, and Jalen Brown calls her the MV, the, the rookie of the year. Yeah, get, I mean, yeah, maybe because he's cool with her. Yeah, I, th- I thought for a second he might be in a, tr- in a menage a trois with, him, with her and Kaiserie Gondrasek. Maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. I don't care. But you just insulted the largest segment of the population that cheers you on and backs you and champions your cause. You have got to be the dumbest m ever on the face of planet freaking Earth. And you have been dragged for this now on so many different videos by black dudes out there. And you still have not deleted that dumb shit. I saved that today. I heard about this two or three days ago. I had not seen the video. I had no idea what it was about. I try not to get into the gossip stuff. But this is worth it. Because this is just downright foolish. You ostracize your biggest supporters. If Angel Reese loses her biggest supporters, who the hell is going to freaking care about Angel Reese? The truth will finally set you free and you'll stop. You'll, you'll, you'll say, yeah, fuck her because she ain't shit because she just told you you aren't shit. And look, my wife is black. My kids are, are are black, mixed. They're black. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you, you can't make this shit up. She just went on record and rubber stamped a black woman saying, black men ain't this. And I'm going to get me with a, ha- a hot white man because all the black women I know are so damn happy because they get whatever they want. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Oh, my... Tone deaf? The levels of tone deaf that Angel Reese is, it's painful. You have an entire segment of the population that is beating down walls for you, defending you, championing for you. And this is the repayment that they get. This is comedy at its finest. Comedy. And I have seen a lot of videos today of some hurt men. (laughs) Bro, you cannot make. She is an absolute. uh, She needs a public relations team because you know how she claims I'm not on social media. TikTok is her. TikTok is her more than any of her social media channels. Instagram is a mixture. TikTok is absolutely her. Because if her manager or some or, or someone in, on her team reposted that and it wasn't her, that person should be fired. But I don't think that's what happened. She's a 22-year-old girl who does whatever she wants and says whatever she wants. Because guess what? Guess what? She's unapologetically angel. Boop. There you go. You got what you got. You want her to be unapologetic? She's unapologetic to you too. She doesn't give a fuck about you. She doesn't care about her fans. Whatever the whatever she has left of them. You cannot make this up. Anyhow, love to hear what your thoughts and the thoughts are in the comments on this thing. Angel Reese has disrespected her largest segment of fans. Black men. You cannot make this up. She will sabotage herself. Her mouth gets will get her in so much trouble that she can't. It's it's crazy how much her own mouth will get her in trouble. Whether it's calling all of Caitlin call, Caitlin Clark's fans are racist, flip flip flopping flip flopping on that LSU thing where she says now she's saying that LSU as a school was lying. She was not suspended, even though LSU said she was suspended. LSU could have easily said she's away from the team on personal reasons. It happens all the time. They did not say that. They said she was suspended because she was suspended. She was suspended. You want to know how we all know she was suspended without knowing for sure that she was suspended? We know because her mother 
and another player's mother, Falaje Johnson, were going back and forth with each other on Twitter, attacking each other, talking shit back and forth to each other about their own daughters. Because those two women do not fuck with each other. That's how we know for sure that she was suspended. It's obvious. But now she says a year later, I was not suspended. I needed time away. I have so many things, you know, for my mental health and all that stuff. Oh, oh, and yeah, she just got hurt. And now it's her mental health again. Maybe she just couldn't take the pressure. That's why she decided to have surgery because the pressure was eating her. But yeah, she says she's never on social media. So again, lie after lie after lie after lie. And now I'm going to insult you because I'm I'm unapologetically angel. That's all I got. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Come on now.